Hey everybody, this is Eric Brady with Seattle Sound Home Inspections. Just doing another uh, little quick video on something I'm working on for other business. These are two breakers from your main panel or sub panel. Um, in this case, it's a main panel for a rental property of ours. And the way these work is they're there to protect your home and yourself from short circuits and over current so when you're pulling too much power um, they connect to the bus bar here and as well here um, what was going on here with these was the old one which is the one on top uh, circuit tripped and they couldn't get it to reset so I looked at kind of some areas of concerns with the the circuit couldn't find anything wrong and then uh, went ahead and took the breaker out and what I found was that even though it's not hooked up to a wire the wire would normally the black wire would normally attach here um, even though it's not attached to the wire when you turn it to off which is normal to reset it and then push it back to on it fails to set and so the one on the bottom here just as a contrast looks the same it's in the same position this is in the tripped position which is halfway or in this case a little bit less than halfway between on and off. The orange flag is up, which would indicate that that is the tripped breaker in a big home with lots of circuits. It is very hard to tell which one's tripped if they're just slightly out of line. So uh, this only happens once because they trip it when they test it at the factory. And um, so I only get one shot at this. So in order to reset your circuit, you turn to off. It clears the flag in this uh, brand and then you can set it back to on. So that's what this one up here should do, off, and then you see it, it goes back to that reset. And even if you can hold it on off, when you push it back to on, it won't set. So uh, more than likely this breaker here has internally failed and we're replacing it with this one down here. Um, went ahead and took it and with me to the store and uh, just compared directly across um, just to make sure I had the correct breaker. Um, yeah, so pretty straightforward. Of course, if you don't feel comfortable uh, removing breakers from your main panel, which most homeowners probably are not going to feel comfortable with that, um, then this is something that you would uh, call an electrician for. But just to give you an idea, um, this breaker was just a few dollars to replace. And your minimum charge for an electrician is typically two to three hundred dollars just for them to come out and assess what's going on. Uh, most electricians are going to be carrying, residential electricians are going to be carrying a breaker like this on their truck and they would just uh, replace it straight across. I, of course, had to go to Home Depot. So, anyways, uh, hope this helps. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.